at Admirable Andrea. I'll be taking a break from Twitter for a couple of days. A few negative things have come into the Star Wars fandom today, especially with Daisy Ridley and myself. But whatever happens, we've been through a lot. So we'll always stick together. Keep the positive energy going. Peace sign emoji. Doesn't that make you just want to cry? Sometimes a little break is a good thing. I know it helped me recently. I hope you can get some peace from one as well. Thank you, bud. A break is necessary to avoid getting congested by the toxicity. Recharge, come back strong, and don't let the nerf herders get you down. So sad. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Kos, and um, I told you we'd be back. I told you, I told you I was going to expose these shows for the cowards that they are, for the dishonest people that they are, for the delusional frauds that they are, okay? These are the people that will get you banned for merely criticizing a movie that you think is really shitty, Okay, these are the people that that get so triggered that not everyone likes what they like. Okay, these are SJWs working to get people with actual functioning brains and critical thinking uh, banned off off of the internet, banned off of social media, uh, just for posting something. Uh, that they considered slightly offensive uh, to their to their um, bronzed gods and overlords uh, in Ryan Johnson, um, freaking Kathleen Kennedy, and uh, of course Mickey Mouse. Um, <clears throat> and today we're gonna expose these shells, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, strap your seatbelts on, or whatever you want to strap on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Now, uh, let's get to it. All right. Now, here we have... This is uh, from Admirable Andrea from a while back. Um, this is Admirable Andrea replying to yet another show from a while back. Few people on Twitter as repulsive and awful as that data racer person. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, People like these make me makes me wish the snap done by Thanos happened. Wow, that's a little that's a little genocidal of you. And well, what is she talking about? She's changed her tune only a few weeks ago. She said criticism on TLJ was fair. Now it's not. F off Daisy Ridley. Oh no, someone doesn't like Daisy Ridley. Wow. That person should be snapped out of existence like Thanos. Okay, okay, Hitler. <laughs> okay. If someone has a problem with Daisy Ridley, who seems like one of those kind of sweetest celebrities, then there is something wrong with them. That is fact. And, of course, this guy's another show who I will get into later. And admirable, totally admirable, Andrea goes on to say, this right here is exactly why Daisy had to delete all her social media if the Infinity Gauntlet with all the stones was real, I want these people to be snapped away from existence. Now, you see, being a genocidal maniac apparently doesn't qualify you as a terrible person. Criticizing Daisy Ridley does. Ah. The mind of a shill is a fragile and uh, fickle, stupid thing. Um... And we are all witnessing firsthand. Uh, just, there are faculties of logic. Yeah, snapping away people from existence is what a villain would do. <sighs> but, but, you know, us criticizing your precious Disney, it, that, that, that's deserving of us being wiped off the internet, right? 
<laughs> we're the real bad guys in all this. We're the real scumbags, right? Let's continue. She has even even more genocidal level tweets, but oh no 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 no. We're somehow the bad guys in this. The fandom menace is somehow the bad guys in all of this. Radical Jawa, Radical Jawa is the real real villain behind all of this. He deserves to get banned off the internet, mass flagged by her and her shill friends. Okay, just because. He criticized your lord and savior, Daisy Ridley. Daisy Ridley says fans should stop being so vicious. Really? And of course, this is this is reason for her to think that it's okay to just be like Thanos and snap everyone you don't like from existence. That's the sign of a true hero. Well, apparently, she's another brain-dead Hollywood moron. Thought she was smarter, but unfortunately not. Daisy Ridley thinks it's rude to criticize the new Star Wars movie be because people worked really hard on them. This was after someone at a friend's birthday party told her they didn't like TLJ. Wow. People don't like things. Oh my god. Let's ban them off the internet. Let's say that we want them eliminated, destroyed, or, or disintegrated like Thanos would do, like a true villain would do. Let's say that, okay? Because we're the good guys, right? Right, Admirable Andrea? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I, I, I forgot. You, you changed your Twitter handle. <laughs> well, we'll get into that later. Yet another genocidal tweet. Truly a hero. <laughs> Truly a loving and admiring, admirable person. R.I.P. Carrie Fisher. You never lived to experience Star Wars fans who you loved. Reaction to the insult of your greatest character, which it was. You will go down in history an icon. Thank God that wasn't tarnished. If I had the Infinity Gauntlet with all the stones, these people would be the first ones I would snap away from existence. That's totally not a serial killer in the making, folks. No, 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 but but Twitter will have this up. Twitter will leave this up. Um, okay. <laughs> the most hilarious about Jeremy of G and G going to S S Star Wars Con, uh, Star Wars Celebration or whatever, uh, even after all the crap he has done, is knowing he was too stupid to realize that all the money he spent there went to, into Kathleen Kennedy's paycheck. <sighs> I hope he takes that video down as we saw that this year's Star Wars Celebration <laughs> with the trailer views and reaction of the rise of Skywalker, the Last Jedi has done anything but kill Star Wars. Oh my God, these people are delusional. <laughs> and what's this? It appears we have some brand new tweets from Miss Andrea. <sighs> and of course, she's deleting, going through and deleting all well, all of these tweets. This tweet is suddenly unavailable. Apparently she's been trying to get at someone with a tweet from two months ago. This guy just says, The Last Jedi is not a good movie, which is a fact. Rey is a Mary Sue. That is also a fact. Raylo is a cancer and a blight upon this earth. That is also a fact. Okay, Kelly Marie, Kelly Marie Tran is a sweetheart who doesn't deserve all the shit she's taken online. Well, Star Wars <laughs> fans know, know what was really behind that. And that was actually someone who uh, was a fan of the sequels going around in an organized campaign. If you watched my... Uh, Star Wars Gate video, you would know uh, the entirety of that story was some Indian guy 
going around framing Star Wars fans because he got kicked out. Apparently, because he got he was salty that he got kicked out of our uh, expanded universe group or whatever, and so he formed some uh, <laughs> some troll account to basically set us up and make us look make us make it look like we uh, who don't like Disney Star Wars were the ones harassing Kelly Marie Tran and that we were the ones starting the spoiler jihad. It's, it, it was such a, like, like a, the hoops this guy went through to set us up. It, it was, it was amazing. It was like some Metal Gear Solid <laughs> level conspiracy. It, it was really fascinating to watch and to go back and, and read all those old Facebook posts. Uh, the newer Ravindra that guy but anyway we know that so here she's saying it's hilarious because if Ray was Mary Sue she would have left Jakku a long time ago like why would she need to why would she want to never have deluded herself thinking that her family would come back for her that doesn't that doesn't prove she's she's not a Mary Sue though. <laughs> I mean, just because you hope for something to happen doesn't mean you're not a Mary Sue. Never have believed in Finn's lie. Never have crashed the Falcon. She piloted the Falcon perfectly and was like using the Force perfectly in sync to pilot the Falcon. That alone, like with no no training whatsoever, that alone qualifies her as a Mary Sue. I mean, it, she she made no mistakes. What what has she lost? What what has she lost in this entire in the entire sequel trilogy? Never released the wrath the Rathars by mistake. And never mm -hmm. ran away from from Maz. Never gotten herself captured by Kaloran. Yeah, she kicked Kaloran's ass. Would have perfected the Jedi. Yeah, she did. She <laughs> what shouldn't have even been able to do the Jedi mind trick because it was way too advanced. She would have had to have um, at least what Luke had like four years of force training before he was he was able to use the Jedi mind trick and what she was able to do it within the first what the first movie. Would have escaped Star Killer base on her own. Easily been manipulated by Kylo Ren, given in to her dark side temptations, and enters the hole, naively believes that Kylo Ren could be turned from the dark side, ignoring Luke's warnings. What? How much of these actions have actual consequences? She teams up with Kylo Ren to kill, uh, to kill Snoke and all his guards. They do, and she. Basically, Kylo Ren shouldn't have even been there because she could have killed them all by herself. Really, she could have. That's how it looked like. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. But she's not a Mary Sue, guys. Keep convincing yourself. Oh, yes, and, and with the mic drop. And one can only imagine... <laughs> this guy, you dug through my tweets to find one that's two months old and decided to lecture me on a boring, poorly written character from a once great franchise? Get some help. Stop it. <laughs> and, of course, all these tweets are, are deleted, and I, I'm presuming she said something about poning this guy into submission. Honestly, this is kind of this is honestly kind of embarrassing, man. I don't like the new Star Wars movies. Doesn't mean I want any I don't want anyone else to enjoy them. I'll stick with the animated series and the Mandalorian when that comes out. Tweet is unavailable conveniently. What the fuck are you even talking about? Reality? Taste of my own medicine? I was saying I don't like this thing against the reality. <laughs> Tweet is unavailable. <laughs> And of course, certified shill. Probably paid by Disney. I wouldn't be surprised. You can't handle the truth. Hmm. Dark Lord of the Sis. I'll stop when Lucasfilm stops insulting the fans. Following. Hmm, 
block Matt Farrell. Wow. Wow, what a coward. <laughs> this guy's like, all right, I'm done. Peace out, you fucking whack job. <laughs> oh, this is just hilarious. That's freaking hilarious. Oh, my God. And this is, I, I, I believe, the most recent activity from this person. That, that is just sad levels of shilling. How pathetic. Just how pathetic. Uh, that's probably why you only get, oh, so many likes. Ryan Johnson had the nerve to turn one of, one of modern cinema's biggest cliffhangers into a heartbreaking and shocking moment. When a legend throws away his weapon, his chance of redemption, it sets the subs versus tone for the rest of the film. And I knew I was in for a life-changing ride. These are the these are the shills that watch this shit and think it's good. <laughs> no, no, they're, they're no. <laughs> oh my god, I have no words for just how stupid this is. All right. There's a thing called uh, subverting expectations and um, actually creating a good story where a hero does take his weapon and does redeem himself. Okay. Well, it's not even his weapon. It's his father's weapon. But this basically destroyed Star Wars. This was basically Luke turning his back on everything that he had been fighting for uh, throughout the entire series. The return of the Jedi was pointless because Luke just does this to his legacy because Ryan Johnson, <laughs> Ryan Johnson decided it would be great to subvert our expectations here of all places. And then you wonder why so many people are 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 mad as hell. So many long-term fans are mad as fuck. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no no no, but it was a life-changing ride. It was such a subversive tone. Yeah, yeah. Any edge lord can do this. Any freaking edge lord can do this. All right. What what we actually want, an objectively good story where uh where redemption actually happens, like in episode six, okay, uh, that wasn't delivered. <laughs> All we got stuck with was this, this. And, and of course, Andrea is shilling for this crap. This is honestly embarrassing. Let's go through more of this person's tweets, shall we? Miss uh, <laughs> Andrea. <clears throat> This guy, I feel bad for... Did she change her Twiddle, Twitter handle? Yep, yep. Twitter handle changed. <laughs> oh, that is that is hilarious. <laughs> Wait, at first it was Admirable Andrea. Now it's Retsimboon. Rets this guy, I feel bad. I feel bad for Disney and Kelly Marie Tran. They should they shouldn't be harassed over a movie. Also, this guy it's all J.J. Abrams, Ryan Johnson's, and Kathleen Kennedy's fault. So no one should be criticized over the ab abject critical failure of the Last Jedi. This is what this idiot is saying. This chill is saying that no one should be criticized. Okay, and all these all this person is saying go check go check the poor treatment of Kelly Marie Tran and Daisy Ridley and the blah 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 in the new trilogy. Granted, Ray's Jedi Master Mary Sue and Rose is the worst character ever written, but the hate for the actors because the directors were relatively shit characters is astonishingly foul. And that that may be true. Yeah. Really, people hate on um people that I know that have criticized the trilogy have been have 
have aimed all their vitriol at Ryan Johnson and Kathleen Kennedy because they are responsible for this train wreck of a sequel trilogy. No, 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 no. But it's hate. It's we got to force out hate. <laughs> we got to force out hate, though, meaning force out all criticism of this trilogy because you're a freaking shill, just like it says in your profile. You have no ability to think critically about anything. Just, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Give more of your, your corporate dick, Disney. Yes. Oh, yes. I'm Admirable Andrea. Oh, yes. I, I love that that corporate, mm, corporate song. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just, <laughs> yeah. You are such a shill for Disney. It, it, it's, it's embarrassing. Every other post is about how great Dizzy, Daisy Ridley is. I mean, you know, she's okay, I guess. But she was handed she was handed the worst story ever by by two of the the worst directors ever. And I, I don't really know anyone that has a personal vendetta against Daisy Ridley, like this guy is saying, against Daisy Ridley and uh, and Kelly Marie Tran. I mean, they play terrible characters, but we've always been like people on our side of the argument have always said that it's always been about Ryan Johnson and J.J. Abrams. They've screwed over Star Wars fans everywhere, and Kathleen Kennedy. She, they all have. And of course, uh, <laughs> I found another shill at Dr. Ragnarok. Now, you see, the good thing about Admirable Andrea is that well, her gloating over uh, Radical Jawa being silenced uh, has led me <laughs> to a whole nest of shills. Now, um, these shill associates, which I'll uh, get into later, uh, <laughs> they have made it their business to uh well i guess stick up for daisy ridley and and i guess well change the narrative because with uh sjw's it's all about narrative and not about facts uh so this person um joseph luff's is already bliss robin gang hashtag dr ragnarok a bernie bro uh certified soy boy says, if someone came up to me at my birthday party, I mean, at a birthday party, and told me to my face that my movie sucked, I would tell them to F off. Yeah, because they're going to talk shit behind your back? Why? Uh, like, um, imagine thinking you're so special that you go up to an actress and insult her movie. Nobody cares, bro. Like, oh, man, the soul is just oozing. Hmm. Because an actress can't be criticized. That's what you're saying. An actress cannot be criticized. Imagine thinking you're so special. Like, imagine thinking you're so special that you couldn't be criticized. It's so stupid, these people. These people have uh, have the worst logic. And this person, Data Racer, the one that uh, Admirable Andrea, by the way, said that she wanted to erase from the face of the earth, uh, l like a true hero, <laughs> like a true... Uh, <laughs> Like a true genocidal maniac, but I might add, says uh, Daisy Ridley thinks it's rude to criticize the new Star Wars movie because people worked really hard on them. This was after someone at a friend's birthday party told her they didn't like The Last Jedi. Laughing emoji. Oh my god, wow. These people are like triggered over, this is what they'll ban you for. This is what they'll try to get you banned off of social media for. These are, these shills who get paid who probably get paid by Disney, I, I cannot confirm at this moment, will ban you, get you banned from the internet for saying this. No, but they're, they're the good guys. They're the righteous ones. They're the, they're the righteous ones, right? The ultimate hypocrites. Even more shilling, and of course, disrespecting those that believe in God. God is a woman, and her name is Nico Robin. Okay. Uh, 
are you assuming God's gender? <laughs> also, what people should be triggered about, children in cages, families getting separated, mass shootings. Yeah, no one really gives a shit because uh, those people brought their kids there. They, <laughs> they smuggled kids in. Um, these illegal immigrants, some of them even rented kids. Some of them even bought kids uh, to sneak into the country. No one gives a shit about that. Because uh, they made their choice, and if if the Senate doesn't, if Congress, whatever, doesn't want to help the president do something about it, then whose fault is it really? <laughs> what people are actually getting triggered about, and of course, it's about uh, apparently some person is, <laughs> some black person is upset. I mean, or upset with Disney that they are switching the, uh, the race of Ariel and basically tokenizing her. You see, these SJWs, they don't see tokenism when it's right in front of their face. And I think I've said this before in a previous video. They do not see tokenism when it's right in front of them. This is tokenism. This woke shit is tokenism. It is. And this person says, y'all see this ghetto shit white people be doing? <laughs> <laughs> <It's> about <laughs> Ariel becoming white, which is hilarious. By the way, I, I'm I might add um, that no one would want to see a white a movie with a with about Obama being portrayed by a white guy. No one would want to see that. Like, imagine if there were a movie about Martin Luther King and he was an Asian guy. Like, why? Who would want to see that? You know, diversity works. For uh, every group except for white people, apparently. <laughs> and that's, that shit's just funny to me. But there's no agenda being pushed here, guys. There's totally no agenda, right? Th there's no agenda. I mean, there's no hatred for redheads or anything in all of this. All right, guys? Oh, and we have here yet another another tweet. Uh, Hens Carbonite Wang, which is a hilarious name, by the way. The Half Nip 73. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. And of course, like the true uh, intellectual <laughs> titan that she is, or it is, he is, I don't, I don't know what, gen, what Andrea is really, but I'm assuming it's female. She is, um, of course, has deleted the tweet. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. To which she replies, or by retweeting, uh, you can laugh at me all you want, because we're going to be laughing back at you in six to seven months when the rise of Skywalker breaks box office records and is Praised from both critics and audiences. <laughs> yeah, okay. No likes. And this guy is like, though I completely agree with everything you said, uh, Rise of Skywalker is not breaking any Endgame or Avatar records. However, given the franchise record views the trailer got within the first 24 hours, making at least a billion is all but inevitable. My big guess is that it'll gross about $1.6 billion. Why would anyone want to see this movie? Speaking of which, I'm going to make another video about the the Rise of Skywalker. It just how many people were bit... I, for, I almost forgot about that. Thank you for reminding me about that. How many people were bitching and moaning about uh, the Emperor coming back in... Uh, in Legends, but all of a sudden, oh, snap, like, he's coming back in, in Star Wars Episode Nine. Like, we're supposed to be excited after you guys were bitching and moaning about it. Really? Okay. Just, I just wanted to point out just the supreme hypocrisy in all of these shills. Now, as a matter now, I noticed that this person has... <laughs> has a YouTube channel also. Um, how about check that out? Oh, the irony hurts. Yeah, okay. Then <laughs> none of these people go and see the movie.
or they see the movie and they realize it sucks. <sighs> but last I checked on this YouTube channel, it was not active at all. 61 subscribers, no, no videos. <laughs> Laughable. Anyway, let, let me show you one of one of their their close friends, uh, Doctor Ragnarok. Uh, this person is another Joseph Solano. Uh, is another shill. <laughs> it's so funny that that they harass uh, these people harass radical Jawa off the internet. They will f mass flag his account. But oh oh they can't handle the heat. They can't handle the oh they can't they can't handle it when 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 the same thing is done to them. And anyone that criticizes uh, criticizes Disney Star Wars, this is this is these are the, the geniuses that they'll send after you. Yeah, just another Bernie bro. No wonder you look like a cuck. Anyway, Joseph Solano. Um <laughs> Ryan Johnson didn't ruin Star Wars. Kathleen Kennedy is doing a great job. Boycotts didn't hurt Solo. Shipping isn't bad. Star Wars isn't dead. Diversity is good. Insulting filmmakers is bad. There's no SJW propaganda. Star Wars for everyone. Remember that in 2019. I didn't get my soy latte today. <laughs> Oh my God! Wow. Uh, I mean, <laughs> this. <laughs> oh, such uh, such low T. You could just feel it emanating from <laughs> low testosterone. You could just feel emanating from this tweet. Just how 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 do you see the Last Jedi? as objectively a great film. How do you see the killing off of the original, original cast, Ryan Johnson saying that the past has to die, uh, and that everything about Star Wars ha basically has to perish, right, is, as a great thing. The boycott did, in fact, hurt Solo because it actually lost money. Diversity, forced diversity is not great. But look, there's no SJW propaganda. It's like he's trying to Jedi mind. You can't Jedi mind trick me. <laughs> These are the shills we have running damage control for uh, The Last Jedi. Let's see, let's see what everyone else has to say. Let's see what the actual people have to say. Oh, and the, time to promote. And these are just some more shills. Time to promote real King Faust. Some accounts that probably don't even exist anymore. That tiny spider legs. Uh, do you even comic? Yeah, more shills. Yeah, every, everyone who criticizes Ryan Johnson is a, is a bad man. Yeah, because having Luke, the most optimistic character in the in the whole Star Wars universe, who refused to fight Vader because he saw good in him, contemplate murdering a child is doing a great job. Last Jedi was a hate letter to Star Wars fans. Thank you. <laughs> this one, General Katarn, strong in this one, the, the denial is... <laughs> And this person actually is like, I could see an argument for all of those things, except one. Boycotts did, in fact, hurt Solo, along with terrible marketing. Don't lie to yourself. Dang. Yo, even your own, even people who follow you are calling you out on your bullshit, man. Wow. Joseph Solano. <laughs> the new Star Wars lacks... Lack in the story department. No one gives a crap about whether women or minorities are in it. Thank you. That is what we've been saying. The story just has to be good. The Clone Wars has a plethora of amazingly written female characters. Thank you. It's, n it's not... No one is sexist who criticize... The people who criticize the new trilogy, who criticize Disney Star Wars... Realize that there is an agenda being pushed, and there is. 
There's a feminist agenda when Kathleen freaking Kennedy comes out with a shirt that says, the force is female. There is a feminist agenda. No amount of, of your of your trying to dismiss and, and Jedi mind trick out of this fact uh, is, is going to change that. Star Wars was never good, and diversity isn't inherently good. It can be, though, which is true. Diversity by, by itself is, is not a benefit if you don't have a good story. <laughs> exactly, this guy. Then why is Solo the first Star Wars film not to make its money back theatrically? What caused that? I never said it didn't, it, but it did minimal damage. Yeah, okay. Okay, buddy. No, he made it worse. No. Yes, no one caring about Solo heard it. You're right. Deader than Dillinger. <laughs> You're a liberal. So, okay. There are a lot of men commenting on it. Why? Who gives a fuck? <laughs> like, who cares? He didn't show, yes, he certainly did. He didn't show any respect to anything that Abrams established in episode seven and paid no attention to the established character of Luke. Even Hamill, even Mark Hamill himself was all like, this isn't what the fans want. And Johnson was all like, that doesn't matter. This is what I want. Exactly. This is why Luke Skywalker got attacked by you Disney, by you Disney fanboys, you shills on Twitter for expressing that he would have liked to have the entire cast, original cast together for one more run. But no, oh no, Ryan, Ryan Johnson is doing a great job, a bang up job of, of handling this Star Wars trilogy, guys. Just listen to me, pay Disney shill. I know exactly what all of you guys are thinking, right? Bullshit. Misrepresentation of what happened. He basically just apologized for stirring up drama. I highly doubt his actual opinions of the film have changed. Wrecked. Mark Hamill admitted he was wrong. Yeah, okay. TLJ, widely stated in media as divisive. Kennedy oversaw first off first box office bomb. Solo bombed. Shipping equals who cares? Share forced diversity is fake diversity. Stereotypes. Exactly what I've been saying. Forced diversity is nothing but tokenism in disguise. And these idiots don't get it. Oh, no, no, no. But these are the shills that are going to ban you off Twitter. Ban you off Twitter, off of social media. Mass flag your account. These are the brave warriors <laughs> that crusade for Disney and for the corporate shill, for the corporations. These are the people who think so objectively who are going to get you banned off of social media for even criticizing their Lord and Savior, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> or their Lord and Savior, Ryan Johnson. Or, 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 or the feminist-in-chief, Kathleen Kennedy. It's pathetic. It's really pathetic. And then when, when they can't handle the heat, what do they do? At, like Admiral Bro and Andrea, they change their Twitter handles because last I checked, Admirable Andrea does not exist anymore. So anyway, he couldn't handle the heat. Because apparently the fandom menace knows how to bring that heat. The original three were SJW? Really? How? How were they SJW? They told the hero's story. They had they had actual an actual strong female lead character. Uh, like they were fighting against the empire, against a government that was actually tyrannical. Like I, like I don't get how how the original three were too political or too SJW. Like I, I don't understand it. Like do uh, SJWs do nothing but whine and complain? SJWs uh want the uh, self-insertion fantasy or, or however you call it, the, um, I forget the, the exact term for it right now, 
but um, where everything, every minority and 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 freaking female is just like uber powerful, and white guys are the ones that are just bumbling idiots, right? I mean, like that can't be fair. I mean, that that that's not fair. <laughs> Um, SJWs are the ones pushing for, for more gay, trans, like, stop it. <laughs> Normal people don't want to expose their kids to that nonsense. Like, um, sorry, it's the truth. Yeah. I, I don't want to take my kid to the movies and, and, and have him seeing some drag queen. <laughs> are you kidding me? I want to take him any, anywhere and see that. So anyway, uh, the films to one side kennedy has made some statements which i find to be overtly antagonistic and divisive such as i don't need to cater to male fans even though and wearing the forces female t-shirt our opinions are pretty irrelevant anyway financial success will dictate oh exactly it's only overtly antagonistic if you are a sexist. Star Wars should be for everyone. Therefore, it can't cater to male fans. It has to be for everyone. No, it doesn't. Not everyone's going to like Star Wars. And that's the problem. They're trying to make it appeal to, to people who are not part of their original fan base. And these people are casuals. They don't give a shit about Star Wars. They never have really given a shit about Star Wars. They don't. They they don't buy the toys. They don't collect shit. We've been collecting this shit for for thirty years. Yeah, so, uh, uh, some of us. Yeah, collecting Star Wars toys, comics, uh, video games, books, everything. And, and then for for Disney to turn around and antagonize the fans like that. For Kathleen Kennedy to do that, uh, let, let's go into let's go into the reply, into the replies because I know this person is triggered as hell. <laughs> it should be for everyone. The Force's female shirt had absolutely nothing to do with Star Wars. Yeah, I'm I'm sure of that. I'm sure of that. It was a Nike ad. Yeah, that's why Kathleen Kennedy was wearing it. She doesn't need to cater to male fans. She doesn't need to cater to female fans either. It's all about financial success. Lucasfilm is exercising something they're pretty passionate about. Creative freedom. Much of it isn't about is about giving artists the chance to make great art. Like like The Last Jedi? Uh, yeah, sure. Single-handedly killed great art. Uh, but they don't hear me, though. Because I don't need to cater to male fans, even though male fans are responsible for the for the success, largely responsible for the success of Star Wars. <clears throat> that's not antagonistic. I mean, that's not going after half of your half of your audience. Okay. Wearing the Force's female shirt <laughs> is not. It's totally not antagonistic to the male audience. Either this was sarcasm or someone is prostituting himself in hopes of getting some red carpet tickets for episode nine. Exactly. This is what these shills do. And if you'll stroll through Dr. Ragnarok or Joseph jo Zori Bliss or whatever, asexual, that says it all. <laughs> that says it all. If you'll stroll through his, uh, his list of his fellow shills, I'm sure you'll find even, it's like a shill farm. This is a shill farm, basically. Oh, hold up, hold up. And, and this is him trying to brainwash his audience. Like, who are you? Who are you trying to convince yourself? <laughs> and we have a uh, tweet from Joseph uh, Joey Zori Bliss or whatever the, this dude wants to call himself. You can even call it a dude. Uh, <laughs> But most importantly, if you see this reply, remember, don't discriminate. Never be mean to anyone who disagrees with you, unless they're trolls. Rush not into fight long as long as, long as the war. Have fun. Okay. First of all, how are you going to, like, really tell 
because everyone's a troll to an SJW. And all these people are they're just rabid SJW. So I'm going to go through this guy's profile and just show you some just how much of an SJW he is. Okay. To, to an SJW, everyone is racist. Everyone is sexist. Everyone is some kind of ism, phobic or whatever. And it's all, it's all going to be exposed here. Just stay tuned. Tiny spider legs. I haven't even seen this one yet. I can only guess. It's tweet about superheroes more than I probably should. Black Lives Matter. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yet another show. And let me guess. Transsexual activist? I don't know. Some kind of activist. Some kind of lefty uh, activist. Some kind of, I don't know, D-Gen or whatever. But um, Diamond Spider P. Yeah. These are all, all Disney shills. But it's just funny to see how, how many people come after him and call him out on his bullshit. Yeah, the Star Wars fandom was split. Disney keeps putting out TLJ articles a year later. <laughs> Criticizing a film is normal. Sorry, guys. As much as you like to shill, okay, for Disney... Uh, you got to realize that people are going to criticize your films. Okay. Your, your, your fantasy of everyone loving you and, 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 you know, being okay with you is not reality. Okay. The last Jedi clearly hurt the saga, although it was Kennedy's exploitation of it that has driven it to the ground. Boycotts didn't help solo, which is a massive flop. Thank you. It would be best for star Wars to be dead at this point. The rest is okay. Which I don't really agree with. <laughs> you know, so, I, I don't agree with, with any part of, of this initial tweet that was okay. But this is just, these are just some of the shills that will, that will crusade against you if you have anything negative to say ab about Disney and Star Wars. The Last Jedi didn't hurt Star Wars any more than The Phantom Menace did. The Phantom Menace actually kind of helped Star Wars. People in retrospect are realizing how great the Phantom Menace was in comparison to just how utter trash the sequel the sequel films have been. Okay, people are, are glorifying the, the prequel trilogies now because of just how, how terrible the, the sequel films are. It's it's ridiculous and, and it's pathetic that these people continue to show despite objectively terrible films. Underperformed, yeah, flop, no. Okay, Bernie, bro. I don't hate TLJ, but I gotta say, episode 9 is the first time I'm not particularly excited, nor do I really care what happens. So do what, with that info what you will. I think people who think it's great are kidding themselves. It's okay at best. I think it's great, and I'm not kidding myself. Of course, Cuck Wendig, Cuck freaking Wendig shows up. <laughs> Cuck Wendig shows up to show for Disney. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, we thought he was done. Oh wait, this is this is back in January, but it's still fun. It's still fun to go back and see Cuck Wendig actually had to interject. Allow me to interject real quick. I'm Cuck Wendig, and I disagree with this opinion. <laughs> oh my god! Come on. <laughs> Oh man, I could go. I could go through this for like a whole hour. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man! Almost twenty minutes of just stroll, just strolling through these replies, just like yeah, no, buddy, no, dude, <laughs> no, bro. He had to, he had to tag all of his shills, all of his fellow shills in this post. I bet uh, to get to get this many likes. Kathleen Kennedy, one of the reasons Steven Spielberg had a career is ruining Star Wars, right? She is. <laughs> she is. 
She has and is. <laughs> she has completely destroyed Star Wars. And no, like not a lot of people are excited to see it. I just think they could have handled some of the characters better. We don't have a clue as to Snoke's origins because they led you on and they led you to believe that this guy was like some kind of new emperor. Ray could have had better development and Kylo could have been more interesting. I think that he's conflicted, but he's not that interesting. Also, some jokes just don't fit. Oh, man. Yeah, but <laughs> at the end of Return of the Jedi, what do we know about Palpatine? Hell, most people only learned his name because of the prequels. The prequels were always going to happen, and they were always going to explain the rise of Palpatine. They were always going to. Like, I don't get what you <laughs> what the point of this reply is, but it, it's just freaking hilarious to me. How in denial these people are. His entire goal was to subvert expectations. Solo is the worst performing Star Wars movie. It's on its last leg. Disney should make good, diverse characters. Filmmakers should not insult their fans. Thank you. Wow. How in denial are these people are? Just keep convincing yourself. Just keep convincing yourself that Solo was not a flop, please. Please convince yourself some more. Um, Bernie Sanders, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bernie Bros. Yeah, what what else did I, why, what else did I seriously expect? Uh, Blair White, woman's a fucking tool. Oh, yeah, yeah, you, you loved Blair White until you realized that he's a conservative. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I don't care. Shoe on head, you blocked me. I don't, I really don't care. I'm not calling a man a woman, and I never will. Anyway, guys, this is me just exposing more of their shilling ways. <clears throat> and I hope you guys have fun, I don't know, letting Joseph Solano or Admirable Andrea, or as she's called now, uh, at 96, uh, what's it? 96 Retsum, Retsumboon? <laughs> know how you feel. All right, this is your boy, Cole. Exposing these shells one step at a time. Peace out.